Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing a straight line. The chapter has been already completed, but uh, some more questions uh, we'd like to discuss from miscellaneous exercise. So let us start today from miscellaneous exercise and some questions related to it. So uh, miscellaneous exercise I'm going to discuss today. Miscellaneous exercise. So miscellaneous exercise that I am going to discuss today. Let us start very first question from miscellaneous exercise and this is given here that find the value of k, find the value of k, value of k for which the line, for which the line k minus 3 x minus 4 minus k square y plus k square minus 7 k plus 6 is equal to 0 is a parallel to x axis. First question is a parallel to x axis parallel to x axis, b parallel to y axis, parallel to y axis and c passing through origin, c passing through origin, through origin, right. So this is a question and I have to deal with so parallel to x axis for that y is equal to constant, y is equal to constant is a line parallel to x axis and therefore coefficient of x must be equal to 0. So a line will be parallel to x axis if a coefficient of x is equal to 0. So solution we can write a line is parallel to x axis if y is equal to constant. Right now, y is equal to constant that is coefficient of x is equal to 0 coefficient of x is 0 this employee k minus 3 is equal to 0 and therefore k is equal to 3 so this is the solution of first a part now for b part parallel to y axis a line is parallel to y axis parallel to y axis if x is equal to constant that is coefficient of coefficient of y is equal to 0 this employee what is coefficient of y here k is 4 minus k square is equal to 0 4 minus k square is equal to 0 and therefore k square is equal to 4 and hence k is equal to plus minus 2 that will be answer and a line for third a line which passes through origin passes through origin if c is equal to zero that is independent constant independent constant is zero constant is zero that is what k square minus 7 k plus 6 is equal to 0 that is k square minus 7 k plus 6 is equal to 0 so this employee k minus 6 and k minus 1 is equal to 0 and therefore k is equal to 1 or 6 so this uh, this is answer of all these three parts of the question first now let us solve question number second mm -hmm. question number second is there and what is the question Find the value of theta and p. Find the value of theta and p. If the equation x cos theta, if the equation x cos theta plus y sin theta is equal to p, p is normal form of the line is normal form 
of the line of the line root 3x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 right so here uh, we can write it solution can be written like this we know a reduction of general equation in long note form divide under root a square plus b square that is under root mm -hmm. under root 3 square plus 1 square that is 2 both the sides both the sides and therefore this will be root 3 by 2 x plus 1 by 2 y is equal to and that will be negative sign with that because 2 is always taken as positive is equal to 2 upon 2 that is 1 right now so this will be minus root 3 by 2 x plus minus 1 by 2 y is equal to 1 comparing this with x cos alpha plus cos theta plus y sin theta is equal to b comparing with x cos theta plus y sin theta is equal to p we have p is equal to 1 and cos theta is minus root 3 by 2 sin theta is minus 1 by 2 since cos theta and sin theta both are negative since sin theta and cos theta both are negative both are negative and therefore therefore theta lies in third quadrant in third quadrant isn't it and therefore theta must be equal to we can write what is that 180 plus 30 that is 210 degree that is pi plus pi by 6 7 by 6 or 210 degree so this is theta and that was p so find the value of theta and p that you have to calculate and i have calculated here value of theta is 7 pi by 6 and value of p is already 1 so therefore p is equal to 1 and theta is equal to 7 pi by 6 that is answer so we can do that now let us discuss question number 3 and third question is there that uh, find the equation of lines find the equation of lines equation of lines which cut off intercepts on the axis edge which cut off intercepts on axis edge has some has some one and product minus six some one and product minus six so we have to calculate this so we can write solution as let the equation of line equation of line in intercept form is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 as a and b are where a and b are intercepts so sum of according to question sum of intercepts that is a plus b is 1 and product of intercepts is minus 6 now we have to calculate value of a and b and uh, use this a is plus b is minus 6 by a is equal to 1 and therefore a square minus 6 is equal to a and therefore a square minus a minus 6 is equal to 0 this employee a square minus 3a plus 2a minus 6 is equal to 0 and therefore this will be a minus 3 and a plus 2 is equal to 0 and hence a is equal to 3 or minus 2 so when a is equal to 3 b will be when a is equal to 3 then b will be what minus 2 b is minus 2 and when a is equal to minus 2 b will be 3 right now so we can write equation of line therefore 
equation of line will be x by 3 plus y by minus 2 is equal to 1 or x by 3 plus minus minus so we can write it minus or it can be x by minus 2 plus y by 3 is equal to 1. So both of them are answer of this question. I hope you got it. Or if you simplify this, then equation of lines are equation of lines are either 2x minus 3y is equal to 6 or or this will be 3x minus 2y is equal to minus 6. 3x minus 2y is equal to minus 6. These two are answers. So these are the two lines. I hope you got it. Now the next one is question number 4. And what is this? Try to understand. What are the points on y axis? Question number 4. What are points on the y axis? On the y axis whose distance from the line whose distance from the line line x by 3 plus y by 4 is equal to 1 is 4 unit units. So here uh, this equation of line is given and uh, you have to calculate a point on y axis. There can be and this is a line and uh, on the basis of this we can have line like this is a line right and uh, since it is an x axis this is an y axis isn't it so line is like this and uh, we have to calculate this as length of perpendicular from origin to the line is given here a point on y axis we have to find a point on y axis where the length of perpendicular is what that will be point on y axis like here the length of perpendicular distance distance means what perpendicular distance so there is a point on y axis where the length of perpendicular from this is point on y axis that is say or x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is alpha or k anything can be written as the equation of line is x by 3 plus y by 4 is equal to 1 or it can be written as 4x plus 3y is equal to 12 or this can be written as this line can be written as 4x plus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0 or this right so length of perpendicular from this 0 alpha to this line is 4 unit so solution can be written as length of perpendicular from from point x1 y1 to the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 h ax1 plus by1 plus c upon under a square plus b square isn't it this is what the formula so therefore length of perpendicular from therefore length of perpendicular from 0 alpha to the line 4x line 4x plus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0 is given by what 4 times of 0 plus 3 into alpha minus 12 divided by under root 4 square plus 3 square and that is equal to 4 unit because it is given. 
So we can write here this there this employee three alpha minus twelve upon five is equal to plus minus four or three alpha minus twelve is equal to plus minus twenty or three alpha is equal to twelve plus minus twenty and therefore alpha is equal to either twelve plus twenty thirty two by three thirty two by three or minus eight by three. So hence points are hence point on y axis are points on y axis are zero comma thirty two by three or zero comma minus eight by three. So there are two points and uh, on y axis. I hope you got it. Now the next question find the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance from origin from origin to the line to the line joining joining cos theta comma sin theta and cos phi comma sin phi right so solution can be written as here we can write the solution and solution can be written as equation of line is given by two point form y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 cos phi minus cos theta and x minus x1 right this is the equation of line and length of perpendicular from origin to the line so therefore length of perpendicular that can be written as 0 0 upon coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square now so, but it will be difficult for you without simplification. So, let me simplify first. It will be y into cos phi. This cos phi minus cos theta will multiply this side. And it will be cos phi minus cos theta into y minus sin theta into cos phi plus sin theta cos theta is equal to sine phi minus sine theta into x minus cos theta x minus cos theta right so how to deal with this this can be written as this employee cos phi minus cos theta y minus this will be sine theta right now it will be plus minus sin phi into x sin theta comes first and sin phi will come second because negative sign and that will be here sin theta cos theta and there will be also sin theta cos theta with negative sign minus minus plus so this two will be cancelled and what is left here there because here sin theta cos theta is positive if sin theta multiply by minus sin theta multiply by minus cos theta, it will be also positive. So these two will be cancelled out. And the constant which is left here, sin phi minus cos theta. So in this side it will be cos theta sin phi. Cos theta sin phi. Right now? This is theta and phi. Let me write that in difference. Cos theta sin phi and minus sin theta cos phi is equal to g. Now uh, this is sin a cos b cos sin a cos b minus cos a sin b like this. So that is sin theta it can be written as cos phi minus cos theta. So the equation was cos phi minus cos theta cos phi minus cos theta into y plus sin theta minus sin phi 
into x plus sin phi minus theta <coughs> equal to 0. Now distance from origin to the line, therefore distance from origin to the line 1 to line 1 is sin phi minus theta upon under root what cos phi minus cos theta whole square plus sin theta minus sin phi whole square we know the formula na? what is the formula that c upon under root a square plus b square in modulus so we can do this right so what will be that sin phi minus theta whole divided by if it will be cos square phi from here and sin square phi from here so that will be one sin square theta from here and cos square theta from there so that will be also one so 2 minus 1 plus 1 2 here cos theta cos phi and here minus 2 sin theta sin phi so if i will take 2 common then what will happen cos theta cos phi plus sin theta sin phi and cos theta minus or phi minus theta phi because it will be plus so there will be minus sign isn't it so that will be minus 2 and because inside it will be plus it will be minus i hope you got it i have written it directly because a lot of things has been already discussed so if you simplify your own even you will be able to get it here cos square phi from there sin square phi that is 1 cos square theta plus sin square theta is also 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 here minus 2ab 2ab means what cos square phi cos phi cos theta here minus 2ab means sin theta sin phi if you took minus 2 common then it will be cos theta cos phi plus sin theta sin phi that is formula of cos phi minus theta right so if i took 2 common from it what will happen that will be sine of phi minus theta that can be written as and this can be written as 2 into 1 minus cos phi minus theta that can be written like this and you know 1 minus cos theta is what 1 minus cos theta is sine square theta so this can be written as 2 sine phi minus theta by 2 cos phi minus theta by 2 can i write like this and that will be 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2 so that will be 2 sin square phi minus theta by 2 so 1 sin and 1 sin phi minus theta by 2 cancel 2 2 cancel and 1 cos and 1 sin is left so cos by sin is cot so that will be 1 by 2 cot what phi minus theta whole divided by 2 and that will be answer for this question so i hope you got it right now now let us discuss question number 6 and question number 6 is find the equation of line parallel to y axis parallel to y axis and drawn from drawn from drawn from the in point of intersection of drawn through can be better what drawn through through the point of intersection of point of intersection of lines lines x minus 7 y plus 5 is equal to 0 and 3x plus y is equal to 0 this is the two lines and here the equation is this should be written as well right okay so 
here we have to find the equation of line parallel to x-axis. By solving this first to find point of intersection, we have a solving y plus 3x is equal to 0, that is y is equal to minus 3x and x minus 7y plus 5 is equal to 0 to get point of intersection, point of intersection of lines, of lines we have in place of y we can put minus 3x so x minus 7 into minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0 that is 7 3 is 21 plus x 22x and therefore 22x is equal to minus 5 and x is equal to minus 5 by 22 x is equal to minus 5 by 22 and y can be calculated and therefore y is equal to minus 3x so minus 3x that is 15 upon 22 so point of intersection therefore point of intersection is intersection of lines of lines is minus 5 by 22 and 15 by 22 right now x and y now equation of line through this and parallel to y axis is x is equal to constant so equation of line parallel to y axis equation of line through this parallel to y axis from minus 5 to 22 and 15 upon 22 is, is x is equal to minus 5 by 22 x is equal to constant is a line parallel to y axis so these are few equations which have been uh, solved few problems which have been solved now you can try some questions from your own and uh, we will discuss the rest of the questions if you are unable to solve in next class till then bye bye god bless thank you